Hello everybody, thank you, welcome to the show, thank you for tuning in, thank you for viewing, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for supporting the Wrestling Talk Show. Ladies and gentlemen, I got some breaking news, but for now then, before, make sure you guys, if you want to see more wrestling updates all the time, click on and subscribe to this show, so you guys can see all the updates all the time, the logo's gonna be in the corner, click on it, and you're officially subscribed to my show. So breaking news, breaking news on what's going on in WWE right now. Ladies and gentlemen, as we all know what happened on Monday Night Raw, with the whole thing between the mask man, we thought it was Randy Orton, and a lot of people were trending it on Twitter. Who was it going to be? Was it Randy Orton? You know, because Randy Orton was supposed to come back to WWE very, very soon. And we were wondering, is it Randy? Is that the guy who's wearing that mask? Coming? Is that the guy who's going to un unmask himself and it's Randy Orton? It's not. We thought that's who it was, you know. And I thought we he was going to screw Daniel Bryan in that match between Daniel Bryan and Seth Rollins. Because whoever won that match was going to go on and face Roman Reigns at the Fastlane pay-per-view. And we thought Roman, the whole big announcement that Triple H had was that. Randy Orton screws Daniel Bryan and said Rollins goes to WrestleMania. I mean, goes to and face Daniel, you know, at Roman, faces Roman Reigns at the Fastlane pay-per-view. But the article is going to be in the description box for you guys of what's going on. Now, last night during Raw, fans began t t tweeting and trending that there was a mysterious man, a masked man, sitting at Reigns, sitting at ringside, with many speculating that it was Randy Orton, if it was him, getting Randy to make a surprise return. But it wasn't. It turns out that the masked man was none of them than the boogeyman, who most recently made an appearance in the Rumble. And you guys, I'm going to show you guys, the, you guys can go check out the, the tweets and stuff from people uh, getting pictures of him, with him. And the main thing is, why is Boogeyman, when, why is the Boogeyman in WWE, okay? He was at the Royal Rumble, okay? Why was he wearing that mask? What is WWE trying to do with the Boogeyman? Are they trying to get the Boogeyman back in WWE and, you know, give him a, be in the main event spot? Is that what they're trying to do for him? Because there's a reason why he was wearing that mask. Why was it the boogeyman? Nobody knows why it was the boogeyman. I don't even know why. Something is going on. Maybe this is Triple H has a plan for the boogeyman when he returns to WWE. Maybe he's going to be back as a full-time wrestler. I don't know. I don't know. It makes me wonder why. I know it was the boogeyman, but why would you do that to boogeyman? Okay. Why would they do that? It makes me wonder what is up with WWE right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, your comments and your opinions, and how do you feel about the masked man being the boogeyman? I mean, it, it shocks the heck out of me that it was the boogeyman. I thought it was Randy. Everybody thought it was Randy Orton. But it wasn't. It was the boogeyman. So, your comments, your opinions, guys, and thank you for tuning in to the show. I hope I see you guys on the next one. Drop your comments below as always. And keep subscribing to the show to see more stuff. See you guys later. Subscribe.